Nowadays, quite massive reconstructions of the battles of World War II are taking place in Russia, involving numerous participants, military equipment, weaponry, with major funds being invested in other worlds. Is it the way to call upon the power of the dead, the astral realm of warriors, as if for the battle of the battles? Is it the same story with the immortal regiment? You are almost right, Lydia. This is the way to actify, energetically invigorate the cult of ancestors. Not the cult of the dead, but precisely the cult of ancestors. Because the cult of ancestors is a very mighty force, especially when it comes to military operations and in general, the right to exist as a successor system of this very cult. There is a movement in many countries to disown one's own ancestors by demolishing memorial statues and other things, by rewriting history. These are quite functional ritual ways to cut yourself off from the ancestors' cult, which means that it stops its support. As a counterweight, particularly in Russia, the opposite route was chosen, which actually is quite important for Russia. First of all, the cult of ancestors fits perfectly the context of the Slavic pantheon, since everything there was based upon the cult of ancestors. The actual karmic program of Russia was founded on the informational strength of its past. Or roughly speaking, Russia is made of its history and its territory. These two criteria only, not the present, not the future, only its history and territory. If these two criteria are preserved, then this system will live and continue living for a very long time. If anything gets damaged, then the system will fall apart. Therefore, it can be said that the ones who take part in such reconstructions are fighting for their survival, for their survival as a system.